Any resemblance? There's a certain similarity in the construction of the letter E in the word steel. However, I wouldn't say definitely. Mr. Kennedy is expecting you. He's in the laboratory. Okay. Hello, Mr. Kennedy. <clears throat> Hello, Marty. Hello, Marty. Here you are. What did Mr. Gaunt say? He didn't say nothing. See, I think that guy's goofy. He gives me this envelope with just a blank piece of paper in it. How do you know it's a blank piece of paper? Well, I saw him put it in the envelope. Oh. Better put him on your staff, Craig. He's practically hired. <laughs> Anything else? That'll be all, Marty. Thanks very much. Okay. Oh, say, Mr. Kennedy. Yes? A guy downstairs slipped me a dollar to hand this to you. I'll take it. All what? right. Shall I see what's in it, Craig? Right ahead, Jameson. Walter, look out! What was that, Craig? Dynamite. And enough to blow us to pieces. <whistles> Marty. Yeah. Who gave you this? Why, well, a guy outside gives it to me to bring in to you just as I was coming into your place. Ever seen him before? No. And I never wants to see him again, either. All right, Marty. You can go, but don't say anything about this. All right. Nice, playful guy, whoever he was. Yes. Walter, get the car and meet me in the usual place, sir. I'll be right down. All right. That's Kennedy's pal, a reporter. The boss had trailed Kennedy. Not the other guy. Sorry to kept you waiting, Jameson. That's all right, Craig. Look at that. That's one of Geronda's cars. Yes, it is. Who's driving that car? I don't know. Never saw him before. That's funny. Come on, step on it. Follow that car. Take you to his room.
What do you have? I have a glass of beer. Chief, did you see a heavily veiled woman come in here a few minutes ago? No. She went upstairs. Room number eight. Deal me in. Okay, brother. Say, hey, listen to me. That's old stuff. What I want now is action. Yes, but you had what you call action once before, and it sent you to prison. Do you want to go back there? Who will send me there? Not you. I'll make sure of that. Steve, give me a drink. Joe, won't you please listen to me? Steve says there's a couple of suspicious-looking guys downstairs. Thinks they're cops. Perhaps they followed me. Oh, what shall I do? Where's your car? Why, why I, it's out in front. I'll take it down the back way. Get the car there. Oh, right. hurry, will you? Tell that chauffeur outside to get that car around to the back.
Get the car started, Sullivan. Right. What happened? The woman... Come back, come back, back. Come back. The woman got away through the back door. Now get back. Get away? Of course she did. Say, what's the matter with you? Were you scared? No, only I don't want a classy person like her found dead in this place. Who said anything about that? Nobody. Well, keep your mouth shut. Okay, Joe. I don't see that drawn to car around here anywhere. Well, I want you to try and find out who's using it. I'm going to take a look around the laboratory. All right, I'll check in the house. Mr. Jameson. Good evening, Wickham. Is Miss Bernie in? In the living room, sir. Thank you. Hello, Walter. Hello, Bernie. How are you? Walter, I have some snapshots I want to show you. Oh, Wickham, will you please have Margaret bring me those snapshots from my room? The chauffeur's taking Margaret into town, miss. Oh, all right. I'll get them myself. Excuse me. Certainly. Oh, hello, Nicky. Discover anything yet? No, not yet. Take some time. Oh, say, Nicky, when this gets cold, take it to my house. You understand, huh? I understand. And uh, put this in the file. Thank you. These television broadcasts take your mind off your work? I never turn it on when I have important work to do. Nicky, as uh, Dr. Geronda's assistant, do you know he has recently invented a poison gas formula? Mr. Brown is the inventor of the new poison gas. Was anyone else besides Brown familiar with this gas formula? The files are open to all officers of the Geronda Research Foundation. Would anyone... Uh, have access to the gold formula that Dr. Durand invented? No, Mr. Kennedy. That's a secret the doctor shared with no one, not even me. He wrote the formula in his diary, which disappeared when he was murdered. I believe that Dr. Durand is alive. And I think within 24 hours, I will be able to prove this. No one would be more grateful than I, Mr. Kennedy. Thanks for your information, Nicky. Jameson. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, have you seen Shirley? No, she... the television. I saw him. I heard the voice. His voice. Whose voice, Nicky? Dr. Geronda, your father. Turn on the television, quick.
This is my last warning. What you see here will happen to all of you if Craig Kennedy does not drop this case. I want the missing portion of the gold formula. <laughs> What are you going to do, Craig? Shirley, she has some valuable information for you. It may help. Did Shirley say what this information was? No. Where is Shirley? In her room. 